Clearing away all the snow we're going to get won't be an easy chore, especially for the elderly and disabled who may need your help. Our severe weather team coverage continues now live with Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen. You know, I'm not as lucky as you guys are to be inside right now. I'm outside in the heart of all of it, and it's definitely coming down in our uh, outside of our East Providence studios here. If you just take a look down, I mean, it's only been falling a couple of hours, and there's already enough snow to start shoveling. And there's going to be a lot more to start shoveling by noon tomorrow. That's why there's going to be a need for a lot of volunteers to help out. During the last storm, volunteers came out to do just this. Shovel people out who couldn't shovel themselves out for whatever reason. Thank God. You hear about people, it's nice to meet them face to face. Easy to volunteer to sign up to do this. Serve Rhode Island gathers volunteers to help shovel. They had more than 40 during the last snowfall. They hope for more this time. Like this sort of, make sure it's in focus, and then Email that to us with your device. Bernie Baudreau walked us through the steps needed to volunteer. Whether you have transportation or not. Uh, and um, uh, important sort of liability waiver we ask people to uh, sign off on. Serve RI first asked for volunteers to shovel after last year's blizzard, and they've been trying to get the message out ever since. So this is a totally news media driven, and um, you know, WPRI 12 was very helpful in getting the word out last time. So if you want to help your fellow Rhode Islanders dig out from the snow, it's not too hard to join them. So it's a great group of people, and um, if you if it uh, if you're available tomorrow and you can go out and lend a hand uh, and if you're in good shape uh, then we, we could really use your help all right so here's the breakdown on how you can help out just go to our website it's pretty easy it's just wpri.com we have a link to serve our eye there they just need a picture of your license and some basic information from you and if you're one of the people out there who need help shoveling out it's even easier all you have to do is call 211 and tell them you need help Reporting live in the weather yard, shoveling out myself, I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.